Hello, Oryxburg Library patrons. Today we're going to be reading a story called A Dinosaur Called Tiny by Alan Durant, illustrated by Joe Simpson. And this is a Harper Collins publisher's book. One sunny day, a long, long time ago, crack, out of a great big dinosaur egg hatched a little dinosaur baby. Oh, isn't he sweet, said his mom. He's very small, said his dad. They called him Tiny. Days, weeks, and months passed. Tiny grew a little. Soon he wasn't a baby anymore, but he was still tiny. He's smaller than one of my spots, said Brontosaurus. He's smaller than one of my horns, said Triceratops. Triceratops. He's smaller than one of my teeth, said Tyrannosaurus. No one had ever seen such a tiny dinosaur before. The other young dinosaurs teased Tiny. They called him names like Teeny Tiny and Teensy Weensy. You're not like us, said Tyro, the young Tyrannosaurus Rex. You are much too small. He stuck out his tongue at Tiny. Tiny had to play on his own. At first, he tried to copy the games the other dinosaurs played. When they played Shake the Earth, so did Tiny. But the Earth didn't shake at all. When the other dinosaurs played Chase the Dinosaur, Tiny played Chase the Leaf, but the Leafs never chased him back. When the other dinosaurs played Hide and Seek, so did Tiny. He found some great hiding places, but no one ever came to find him. This is no fun, thought Tiny. I hate being small. Tiny sat on a little rock under a bush, feeling sorry for himself. Hello, chirped a small voice from above him. Tiny looked up to see a little bird. Who are you? asked Tiny. I'm Archie, said the bird. I'm Tiny, said Tiny. You are, said the bird. And you're sad, he added. Why? No one will play with me, Tiny sighed. They say I'm too small. Well, I'll play with you, said Archie. Because I'm small, said Tiny. No, because I like you, said Archie. So Tiny and Archie played together. They played dinosaurs' footsteps and dinosaur explorers. They made a tiny mountain and a little cave. They had lots of fun. Suddenly, crash, crack, rumble. The ground shook. What was that, gasped Tiny. Tiny and Archie went to see. They found the other young dinosaurs in a huddle. What's going on, asked Tiny. Tyro jumped so hard, he made the ground crack, said one dinosaur. Now he's trapped, said another. And we're scared the ground will break under us if we try to save him, said a third. Help, cried Tyro. Tiny looked down at his little feet and thought, I'll save him, he said, and off he went. All around, Tiny, the ground creaked and crumbled. Tiny looked down the deep, dark cracks and shivered. What if he fell in? Help, he heard Tyro cry again. Tiny had to go on. On he crept and on. Until at last he came to where Tyro stood, shaking and quivering. Come on, Tyro, said Tiny. I'll lead you to safety. I can't, Tyro sobbed. I'm scared I'll fall. No, you won't, said Tiny. Archie will show us where it's safe to walk. That's right, chirped Archie. We'll play a game of don't step on the cracks, said Tiny. Follow me. Slowly but surely, with Archie's help, Tiny led Tyro to where the other dinosaurs were waiting. Well done, Tiny, they cried. You saved Tyro. Thanks, Tiny, said Tyro. He carried Tiny on his back all the way home. Tiny was a hero. Now all the dinosaurs wanted to be friends with him. No one ever said he was too small or called him Teensy Weensy again. What a great dinosaur you are, Tiny, said his mom. You may be small, said his dad, but you've got a big heart. He lifted Tiny up and cuddled him. Tiny smiled. I like being small, he said. The end. If you enjoyed this book, remember we've got a lot of great books at the Oryxburg Library, so bring your favorite adult with their library card and you can get a book that is just right for you.
Have a great day.